This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories. In artificial intelligence news, according to Bank of America's latest discovery, ChatGPT app downloads showed signs of a leisurely pace. The AI-powered conversational tool is taking a breather, causing analysts to wonder if chatty bots have run out of things to say or if users crave some old-fashioned human interaction. New York City declares war on biased algorithms. TechCrunch reports that their anti-bias law for hiring algorithms is now in full swing. The algorithms better watch out because they can no longer discriminate in the job market. It's like a superhero movie, but we have lines of code fighting for justice instead of capes. Intel unveils its latest creation, a 3D generative AI model poised to revolutionize the virtual world. According to Intel's announcement, this cutting-edge technology brings new dimensions to AI by creating mind-blowing 3D models. With this innovation, Intel is taking thinking outside the box to a new level. Get ready for a virtual extravaganza. In cybersecurity news, solar power is shining a light on a dark vulnerability. Security Week reveals that an exploited solar panel product flaw can expose energy organizations to cyber attacks. It seems even the sun isn't safe from hackers. Let's hope they find a solar solution to secure our energy grids and put hackers in the shade. Uh Uh-oh, cybersecurity agencies are sounding an alarm. According to the Hacker News, a new threat has emerged. New variants of TrueBot malware have been found, sending shivers down our digital spines. It's time to buckle up and strengthen our cyber defenses because these sneaky hackers are up to no good. Stay vigilant, folks, and let's thwart this attack by installing updates, using multi-factor authentication, monitoring for signs of infiltration, and report incidents. CISA detects cyber boost in agency reporting. Federal News Network says more agencies automatically report to the CDM, Continuous Diagnostic and Mitigation Dashboard. Our cyber defenses are getting smarter with agencies stepping up. Big kudos to those keeping an eye on cybersecurity and making the digital world a safer place, one report at a time. In ubiquitous computing news, it looks like the U.S. is putting up a digital fence against China. According to Cointelegraph, there are reports of plans to limit China's access to cloud computing services. It's like a virtual game of hide-and-seek, but with severe geopolitical implications. Let's see who emerges victorious in this cloud-based tug-of-war. Grab your popcorn, folks, because the tech battle is heating up. Rare earth minerals are causing deja vu in the U.S.-China trade dispute. Intereconomics sheds light on the situation, highlighting the importance of these crucial minerals in various industries. It seems history is repeating itself as rare earths become a focal point in this ongoing trade war. Brace yourselves for a bumpy ride as the U.S. and China navigate this familiar terrain. Will they find a resolution or spin in an endless loop? Time will tell. IBM is turning quantum computing errors into a thing of the past. According to Network World, they're touting error mitigation techniques that promise more significant performance in the quantum realm. It's like a magic spell to minimize those pesky errors and unlock the true potential of quantum computing. Get ready for a quantum leap forward in the world of technology. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, Check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and do something wonderful.